Good morning. I'm Peter Melios from the Finance News Network. Stocks rallied on Monday, with the S&P 500 ending the day out of correction territory, as traders kicked off a big week filled with the Federal Reserve rate decision, a jobs report and Apple's earnings. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 1.58%. The 30 stock index registered its best day since June 2. The S&P 500 jumped 1.2% in its best performance since late August. The Nasdaq Composite rose 1.16%. Mega cap tech stocks Amazon and Meta platforms jumped 3.9% and 2% respectively. Pinterest exceeded analyst expectations with an 11% increase in third quarter sales, while expenses also saw a slight uptick of nearly 2%, reaching $768.2 million compared to the $753.9 million from the previous year. Apple will report earnings Thursday after the bell. The S&P 500's largest member is in correction itself, down 14% from its 52-week high. The Federal Reserve decision looms on Wednesday, when the central bank is widely expected to hold its benchmark interest rate at the same level. With surging interest rates as the main culprit of this stock market correction, investors will be hoping the Fed signals it could be finished with its rate hiking. Traders expect the Fed to be done raising rates at least for 2023. The 10-year Treasury yield jumped above 5% to start last week, but it traded around 4.89% on Monday. Friday will bring the October jobs report with investors hoping for some slowing in the labour market that will allow the Fed to feel comfortable with staying on hold for the rest of the year. Turning to US sectors now, communication services was the best performing S&P 500 sector, up by more than 2% in its best day since late August. Energy recorded the fewest gains. In commodity-related news, Indonesia's high-grade nickel ore reserves may be depleted in six years, leading to shortages in stainless steel production. To address this, the Indonesian Nickel Miners Association suggests domestic processing of lower-grade nickel ore, potentially ensuring a supply for 80 years. And lithium stocks, including Albemarle, SQM and Livent, were down significantly on Monday due to supply and demand concerns stemming from a US semiconductor maker, Japanese battery manufacturer and a Chinese mining company. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% gain. Thank you for listening.